Hello. Hello. Today, wife is driving. Yes. <laughs> so we're riding safety and comfort. <laughs> But where are we going, Wifey? We are going to Denmark. Uh huh. And then we will go on to Germany and the Netherlands. Why on earth would we go to the Netherlands? <laughs> it's in Saab in the Netherlands. Is that a tulip event? Sorry? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, maybe it's a Saab event or. Uh, yes. It's, oh, it's oh, a Saab uh, event, uh, yes. Of course it is. <laughs> Nothing with roses or tulips. No. No, no. no. Um, actually, we were at Insab two years ago in Norway and it was amazing. Uh, we took the ferry from uh, Hirsals in Denmark to Bergen. And that was uh, actually one of the first Norwegian West Coast visits we made. Yeah. It was an excellent trip. And, yeah, uh, very nice. Yeah, many Saab people. Mm. Uh, today we are going to um, go to the German-Danish border where we are staying at a hotel and tomorrow we have um, about five, five and a half hours to VSLO in Netherlands. So it will be an interesting trip, it will be a long weekend. Uh, today's first day going back on Sunday and actually on Sunday we're going all the way from Virsilo home to Tronos. It's almost uh, 12 hours in the car so it's a super long day and, and a wife is working on Monday. Yes, don't think about it. No, no, sorry I should not mention work. <laughs> but man is free all week next week. Oh, lucky you. Oh yeah, both free from work and wifey. Yeah, even better. <laughs> I have kitchen dienst. <laughs> so it is. Uh, now we're going um, to travel further to the ferry in Helsingborg and uh, we speak to you later. Yeah. See ya. See you. Hallo? Ist auch kein Kopen? 
Ruth mit dem Elektromixer, ne? Sahne in Pott, Haradur, Tangjiba, Stecker in die Dose und... Ah! Was wäre das? Autsch! Die quer, du, der hätt echt eins geben. Man sekund sich nicht rein. Ich dussel, ha noch meine Fingers doch mal. Der asig Mixer wär auf der höchste Stop in Schall. Und als heißt Strom kriegt, klaro, leg hier los. Ui, 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 au, au, au. Rums, mit ein Ruck, hätt ich dat Kabel um die Dose regen. Hätt bloß zwei wegen duert, denn kunst de blauen Striebens auf mein Ans, wo ein Rode Fingers nicht mehr sehen. Er könnt nur wieder gucken. Einmal in Betten Toe. Ob NDR 8 Welle Nord. Moin! 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 Günther is driving because we are in Hamburg now, so we have the Günther pilot on. Uh, Hamburg is known for? Stau and traffic. It's the city of Stau? <laughs> yes. Yes, every town must have something and Hamburg is apparently the city of Stau. <laughs> so, it is what it is. Uh, we're going to Netherlands. Yay! Uh, and uh, we've been uh, approaching Hamburg for the last, was it, what is it, one and a half hours? Mm, yes. Uh, and, and right now we're moving. Thank God, Günther. <laughs> yes. So um, we have about four hours left when we when come out of Hamburg. So this will probably be a long day. Yes. But we are not complaining. We love yeah. Stau. <laughs> Registration. <laughs> Registration. Now, if you want to please park your car on yeah. P1, yeah. then you can walk in here and in the main building here you can register. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Ja, det är 
vi följer efter dem gör vi. Vi ställer oss jämte. Det kan väl alla ställa sig jämte varandra. Mm. Det inte någon här. Ja, det, är, ja, det står ju det är en sån här parkeringsvakt. Ja, <skratt> för långt utrymme, <skratt> för långt utrymme eller? Är det okej? Okay? Ja, det var godkänt. So we have arrived to in Saab and uh, we're going to take a little tour of the Saabs in the parking place.
Hon var ju till och med tysk, det visste jag Jag trodde hon var ner till en där. In the end of the 2000s we had the problems and uh, we had a re-ignition in 2005-2006 with Carl Peter Foster being the boss <coughs> of Saab uh, on General Motors in Europe and he realized the old Saab 95 needs to be replaced and we developed together with our colleagues in Rüsselheim the brand new Saab 95. A big car over five meters long and the black one you can see here is a maximum specification Saab 95 that developed 300 horsepower from its turbocharged 2.8 liter engine, automatic transmission and also four wheel drive. But make no mistakes, this is a big car, it's a heavy car and the curb rate is around 2,100 kilos. And that could be compared to the first Saab 92 that weighed around 750. Interesting development through the years, by the way. And, and I'd be lucky to bring a car from the Saab Car Museum collection, an even rarer version of the Saab 95, the new generation, the Combi that we, the sport combi that was introduced in 2011. Around 27 cars were produced, this is all of them, and you take a closer look at it, sadly there will be no more cars manufactured of this version. Yeah, I think we're going to have to stop here for the moment. Thank you very much. And now we're going to wrap it up. You said I had around 35 to 40 minutes, not that bad. Yes, running over a bit. And we have to start with a black car over here. Americans love big cars. They love, in fact, every proper American wants to be a trucker, I think. And uh, this is a Saab 97X introduced in 2005, um, manufactured for the American market. And uh, you can have the Strix and a straight six liter engine, 4.2 liter, V8, 5.3, and the Chevrolet Corvette 6.1 liter engine with 420 horsepower. And I can guarantee this is a quick car, especially going straight forward. That's the speciality of the Americans. But not as bad as you can think on the road because the soft technicians really tweak it a bit and it's. Uh, but mainly we have to say this is of course in many ways a truck. But a really good car if you want to pull the classic Saab or having a big trailer behind it, this is the car, I can promise you that. And uh, it was preceded by the Saab 94X, developed by the American Organization General Motors Engineering together with Cadillac with an XRX model. 
And the 94X shares a lot of technology with the 95 that I introduced earlier. So this is a 2.8 liter engine, 300 horsepower, four wheel drive, everything. But it's not made in Shonat, and not even in Finland, it's made in Mexico. So this is an old bird. Around 800 were made, and you can see a few of them in Europe, but the majority is of course in USA, and more cars were not produced at all, sadly, because of the recent bankruptcy. But I have to say, I'm really impressed with the quality, the characteristics of the car, and the way the Mexicans build it together. And uh, there is no doubt that it will be a hit in the future. Sadly, that was not the case. So in December 2011, it was over. So I went into bankruptcy. And um, the factory is still around in a very, very good condition, bought by a Chinese investor group called NEVS, National Electric Wheel of Sweden. And they are preparing at the moment to produce electrical cars based on the old 93 in Tianjin, in China. And they are actually still producing them at the moment that we have been expecting that. If they want to see this car in the Swedish market, I don't know. But from me, to all your enthusiasts, thank you again for inviting me here, and thank you for visiting the South Car Museum in Trollhättan. It's owned today by the city of Trollhättan and Saab Abbey, aircraft song that owns the brand, takes care of that. And of course, the, the most people visiting the museum is coming from Sweden. But on the second place is people coming from the Netherlands. Your love to start is remarkable. And it really shows in the statistics when you're coming to the South Park Museum. And that is the best thing you can do supporting the Saab Car Museum, supporting the Saab brand and the love for the car, drive your Saabs, use your Saabs as you're doing here, and we maybe are able to reignite Saab in the car brand for the future. You never know. Seeing so many people here sharing enthusiasts, 60 years of Saab enthusiasts, remarkable. Thank you so much in your reading, and thank you for the fantastic day. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, meine Damen und Herren, mes amis de Saab, uh, on behalf of Saab Group Nederland, I would like to thank Peter for his comprehensive lecture of all the kinds of Saab. Now all of you are more expert than you used to be, and uh, this is important. And tonight we go and check it out, so you have to listen carefully. Peter, you gave us all the knowledge to be known about our lovely make, and we are happy to hear that you are here, and thank you very much. Thank you.
on behalf of you as our guest as well, we want to thank the committee who made this all possible for us. This superb international event. Not only this crew here, but there are also almost 30 volunteers who made it possible uh, that you and we have a nice uh, inside uh, meeting. Again, we hope that you enjoyed uh, our meeting. And I want to give the mic to Ian Hawcroft. Yeah. Oh, the spokesman of the committee. Yes, sir. It's not only us, and it's not, not even only the, the volunteers, but it has also made possible all the sponsors that have voluntarily sponsored us with or finance or in goods, and uh, to make this a wonderful, at least we think, it's, it's a wonderful event. So, um, thanks to all our sponsors. Okay, folks, I think this is the 32nd International Sound Club meeting that I've been to consecutively. And three or four years ago, we commissioned a baton with a listing of all the countries that have hosted the international meetings since 1989. And if folks want to come and look at that later on, it's here. The tradition is that the baton is handed on from the club who hosted the event the previous year to the club that's hosting the event. So I need Normans from Latvia to come and present the baton, just the baton, I think, just, just that bit. <laughs> okay, easy, easy, okay. okay. To a representative from the no, South Club, Netherlands. We just agreed that uh, no one in the hall wants to have uh, long speeches, therefore I will be very short. Correct? Guys, you all make international meetings and push it on another level. It was a very, very big honor to be there and you did today a wonderful job. Thank you for that. Thank you. Israel. 
Katie Nomani.
gentlemen, welcome to the prize ceremony. We start with uh, the prizes for uh, the best cars of the show, of the showcase, I mean. Uh, we have six categories. Each category has three prizes. But before we start with the prizes, I would like to uh, thank very much the jury of the showcase. And this is, of course, Peter Beckstrom, well known by you all. Ryan van der Velde, honorary member of Sacred Holland. <laughs> Steve Hartfeld. <laughs> Peter Harmsen. <laughs> and last but not least, Tom Ramak. <laughs> okay, then we start. Peter will announce why the jury choose. <laughs> And now to the winner in the category, Saab 92-93. And that is showcase number nine, with a motivation absolutely fabulous that the oldest Saab delivered in Holland is able to be driven daily and looking that good. A Saab 92A, 1952, I remember. And the first prize in this group is Tom van der Hoorn. For all prize winners in this group, we have, for the all first prize winners, I have to say, we have an extra prize troll sponsored by the Saab Car Museum in Trollhättan. A watch, a Saab watch. Something inside that I can't ignore 
Hey, something new under the sun. A happy Saab. S-A-A-B. Saab cars, that is. The little sweetest Saab is the economy car. And when it comes to easy parking, it's the champ by far. Built by the craftsmen who build the jet. And so for safety and endurance, it's your best in bed yet. The little Saab speeds the highways. Looking slick, 40 miles to the gallon. Now that's quite a trick. Got a Saab in my life. And this tip, I'm giving. Get a Saab in your life. And man, you really live and get a Saab. In your life, and man, you really live and get a sob in your life, and man, you really live and get a sob in your life. I'm a big one now, though, right? Gut zu fahren. Ja, ist es ist das eine, oder? Wow, und mit der schwedischen Flagge auch. Ja, natürlich. Cool, looking good. Markus Bergfeld? Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Hello, hello. We ride uh, together before I uh, make my trip to Sweden. Re yeah. Just oh, done. really? Yes. I, oh, sorry. <laughs> you know, there's too much people I saw here. Your car. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, not like that, you know. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, this car looks really amazing. And yes. uh, uh, you have it's the US style, huh? With the fog lights. It's not US style. Really? Huh? So? Cool. I've seen so many cabrios in the United States having those, yeah. you know, it's really cool. But this is like, um, huh. you see it has this on the on the back window, this jalousie yeah. yeah. and with the 16 inch, so it looks a bit, I don't know, like 80 style. Yeah, yeah really good. Huh? And with the special sunroof, I think. Sunroof, that's really cool. You know, the Swedes never have could afford sunroofs. <laughs> also, it's too bad weather, but. But the thing is, this sunroof is this can move like not not only open and close. Uh -huh. uh, like this, uh, this is special for 900. The other ones uh, cannot do this. Oh, okay. Because this is a special sunroof. And you got such nice rims. Also, yeah. are these the German version or are, are, are the, the <laughs> yeah. special made ones, or is it the Saab original ones? It's the original. Okay. But uh, not on this car, but mainly on the for the. I think it was a Tilbeher. Uh huh. Oh, it looks, the car looks amazing. I have those rims only two weeks now. Wow. I got new tires a few days few days ago. I bought it also in the Netherlands six years ago. Wow. Oh, it looks great. It looks amazing. This is a perfect thing to have, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> And it's perfect. Did you ever repaint it, or um, the previous owner? Uh, I think he repainted only this parts of the door. This was wow. renovated, but he used it uh, from new to 2013 for the daily use. Oof. So this has uh, 29,000 Swedish mile. Yeah. I think, and it looks amazing, really. Eh? No, I'm not sure. Uh, here comes another active person. Very. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Looks great, huh? Yeah, it's a golden car, so yeah. can't be wrong. Uh huh. <laughs> Did you find your 
dashboard. Yes, I bought one which is nearly without any okay. marks. There's several. Several, yes. Yeah, so several. But in my opinion, uh, more model cars and t shirts than yeah, usable yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and parts, yes. spare parts. <laughs> Oh, nu kommer vi, så kommer Epita så kommer efter oss. Du kan inte ta upp kameran där mötet så så kan vi tack tack till filmen. Är en kost kommer efter oss. Nein, ich sehe ganz schön. Hij is open hoor.
Ja, als je verslag gaat doen van zo'n evenement, moet je natuurlijk wel in stijl aankomen. Hè? Want hier gaat het dus allemaal gebeuren. Honderden zaad, alle soorten maten, komen hier bij elkaar. Er komen vandaag ongeveer 500 auto's deze kant uit. Om allemaal verschillende ervaringen op te doen. Alles wat te doen heeft met, uh, met zaad. Maar waarom, waarom dan Saap? En waarom niet Peugeot, Renault, uh, Citroën? Nou ja, noem het maar op. Ja, ja, hele terechte vraag. Ik denk dat iedereen hier zijn eigen verhaal daarvoor, uh, daarvoor heeft. Maar Saap heeft een hele speciale historie. Het is een ander merk, het is een cultmerk, het is iets speciaals. Het is ja, net even anders dan, uh, dan gemiddeld. Hé hey meneer, deze Saap is van nu hè? Ja hoor. Ja. Deze is dus een van de allerlaatste van mijn projecten. Want u heeft er meerdere hier. Ja, ik heb drie meegenomen. Zo, hij moet nog even uh, de laatste plekjes eraf gepoest worden. Ja, de regen van gisteren nog even eraf. Ja, dan uh, staat hij klaar. Is het een zij of een hij eigenlijk? Het is een zij. Ja. En heeft zij een naam? Nog niet. Die moet ik nog uh, verzinnen. Ja, er zitten heel wat uh, uurtjes in. Zoals uh, ja, de afgelopen weken ben ik elke avond bezig geweest met het polijsten en het uh, schoonmaken. Ja, daarvoor, uh, ik heb deze een paar maanden geleden 150 euro gekocht. Dus uh, ik heb, er waren de spatborden voorop. Dus die heb ik helemaal uh, gespoten, pijlkjes opgeknapt, wat motorisch werk. Dus er gaan heel wat uurtjes in zitten om de rijding te houden. Maar uiteindelijk is het, ja, als je op een dag van uh, zoals vandaag staat, is het altijd wel waard. Ja, wat we heel erg leuk vinden is dat we ook hier vandaag zijn op het vliegveld uh, Twente. Saap is natuurlijk oorspronkelijk begonnen als vliegtuigbouwer. Uh, vooral in de, in de militaire uh, industrie. Ja, en dat heeft hier natuurlijk toch ook een hele historie op hetzelfde gebied. Altijd op de hoogte van het laatste nieuws. Download onze gratis app. Moin! 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 <laughs>